With only eight matches left before the 2013 Kenyan Premier League comes to a close, Sunday's match pitting hosts Sony Sugar against Gormahia was a do-or-die affair for both sides. The hosts were clearly desperate for points to avoid relegation, while Gore were hoping for three points to solidify their lead. Gore Mahia scored a crucial equaliser in the 85th minute, which Sony Sugar disputed bitterly, claiming the ball did not cross the line, and a series of events thereafter eventually led to the abandonment of the match. However, the Kenyan Premier League sees things differently. I've decided the match has been called off for lack of security. The main reason why they decided they called off the match was because one of the, uh, the, perimeter, the perimeter fence was, was, was down. As expected, Gore Mahia does not agree with the KPL and are demanding that the manner in which previous abandoned matches were resolved should also apply here. This year, a quarter-final match involving FC Leopards and Chamberlain was abandoned right here again at Nyaya National Stadium. And FC Leopards was charged with failure to control their fans. The match was awarded to Chamberlain. with simply asking that the law be followed. I don't want to play politics, but I'm sure if it was Gore, we could, we could already have been banned. Gore has now placed themselves at the mercy of FKF's appeals committee, led by advocate Richard Omwala, but KPL sees such a move as premature. They need to follow the, the, the judicial process within the league, which in the end emanates and lands to uh, at the federation's desk. If they come to the conclusion that they might be replayed and that nobody was responsible for the abandonment, we will go and play in Nakuru or at any other place that is directed. Now FKF chairman Sam Nyamwe has thrown a spanner in the works by telling KPL that someone must be held responsible for the abandonment of the match. The FKF chair now wants a fresh report with a guilty party included. For Citizen Sports, I'm Waihiga Mwaura. Ladies and gentlemen.